Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I posted. I'll be honest, I was on a roll with posting and editing and then life got to life in. I just haven't had the time or energy, honestly, to just keep up with the consistency I had before. But I'm back, I'm back. Not making any excuses, but I did want to be transparent about where I've been. <laughs> If you are new here, I invite you to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Let me know how you like the content, if there's anything you want to see specifically, and be sure to share it with somebody who may benefit from this video. So let's get into it. And on my goal for this channel is to empower women through wellness and fashion. It's a weird combination, but there are two things that I think are so important to feeling your very best. And so they actually do go hand in hand a little more than you might realize. So I've been sharing my fitness journey online for over 10 years. And in that time, there are a couple of questions that I've gotten over and over and over over the years. And one of those questions is, how are you so confident in the gym? I get quite a few comments from women um, talking about how they've struggled with being consistent with their workouts because they don't feel comfortable in the gym. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about finding your confidence in the gym. And I realized there are three things that I pretty much latch on to and lock in on when it comes to me feeling confident in the gym. And so I figured there would be good tips to share with you all. So finding your confidence in the gym is not hard as much as it is strategic. Sometimes when we are dealing with things that we are not totally comfortable with or maybe unfamiliar with, we start to feel anxious or we start to kind of talk ourselves out of it. So I have my little notes here so I can make sure I touch on all the points that I have planned for this video. Number one, I want you to stop comparing your journey to what you see. Um, this is so important because when we are starting off in the gym, it's so easy to look around and see what we're not but what we're not looking at is what we actually are and that is someone who had the courage to even start so stop comparing yourself to what you see you have no idea what that person's life actually looks like and i saw you're making those comparisons based on assumptions another thing to remember is that everybody at the gym has an area of improvement that is literally why they are there so look at yourself as one among many instead of one among few you're not the outlier that you feel like you are just because you may be uncomfortable or unfamiliar with the new environment. Third thing about form of comparisons is that it ruins your morale. You want to go into the gym feeling confident, feeling powerful, feeling capable of doing whatever it is you have laid out for your workout. And so it is so important that you talk to yourself in a very kind and positive way. So to keep your morale up, it's important not to inundate yourself with things that feel negative, heavy, or sad. Um, use that energy instead to listen to affirmations or read affirmations or work on your mindset to feel more positive towards your journey ahead so you're not looking around feeling like you're inadequate. It, it just doesn't help anything. Number two is my favorite, and that is dressing for the way you want to feel. So I started my athleisure brand because I was tired of going to the gym in clothes that did not make me feel good. And I noticed such a change in my performance and in my overall mood by wearing clothes that made me feel amazing. Even if I had pieces that I wasn't totally confident in maybe the fit of, I still felt good about the fact that I was wearing high quality clothes that looked good on me and that made me feel like I was supposed to be there. So when I am in a bummy mood, like maybe I don't feel like going to the gym. Maybe I'm having a day where I just, I'm not in the mood. You know what I mean? It happens to everybody. But days when I don't feel like I'm in the mood, I go out of my way to put on a really cute outfit. And I fully accessorize my outfit. I'm talking jewelry, a cute pair of shoes, all the things I do my hair. I literally make it a thing because that is something that makes me feel good. And I know that when I feel good, I'm gonna perform well in the gym. And so dressing for the way you wanna feel is super important. And I always tell women, especially, 
when you're kind of in that space where it's like you feel like you're hitting a plateau or maybe you're just not as enthusiastic about your weight loss or your fitness journey, I always recommend buying a new outfit or a new piece or something that is going to make you look forward to going to the gym. Maybe a new pair of headphones or a new pair of shoes. Um, and obviously you're not going to do this on a super regular basis. But when you reach that point that feels like I'm kind of ready to clock out on this, Think about investing in your wardrobe, you know, invest in what you want to wear and really put some energy into how you're presenting yourself because that is going to in turn influence how you feel about yourself. Another thing about dressing for the gym is it is a healthy distraction. <laughs> Sometimes I go to the gym and maybe I'm just not as focused as I want to be, but to be there and be able to see myself looking good in my clothes or Seeing my clothes fit well on me is something that is going to make me feel even better about myself and that is what I am all about. I think it's also important to note that when you wear clothes that maybe don't fit their best but you like the clothes, like maybe they're your goal leggings or this is your goal set, I think it's important to take a moment to be present with your body and present with how you're feeling about your body and to show some appreciation for where you are at that moment because I promise you it makes that that moment like that after moment when you feel like your body is where you want it to be it makes it that much sweeter that you took the time to appreciate your body in its before state so the last thing that actually helps build confidence in the gym doesn't really have to do with you or the gym necessarily it is preparing for your workout and that looks like doing all the little things that we find a way to turn into excuses when all we had to do was really take a few minutes and prepare so for example, charge all of your devices. Make sure your phone is charged. If you are taking your camera, make sure your camera is charged. Make sure your headphones are charged. That type of thing, your Apple Watch or your whatever fitness tracker you use, make sure it's charged. That is something that I've, you cannot believe the amount of time somebody has said to me, oh, well, my Apple Watch was dead and so I was waiting for it to charge and so I just didn't go to the gym. Or I got to the gym and my headphones were dead so I just left. Like what a waste, what a waste. If all you had to do was just plug everything in the night before to change your life, like you would do it. So make sure your devices are charged the night before. You also wanna make sure your gym bag is packed and fully stocked. So whatever that looks like for you, I know for me, I keep an extra pair of socks in my gym bag. I keep a, a change of clothes sometimes. Um, I'll take uh, my resistance bands, uh, an extra pair of headphones, my, masks, maybe some wipes, some hand sanitizer, some lotion, my lip gloss, like all of the things that I know I'm going to need or things that I know I would need and I know would discourage me from going in or staying at the gym if I didn't have. Because again, this is something that we're conditioning ourselves to make into a habit, right? Or um, it's something that we're conditioning ourselves to find enjoyment in. So if we start to remove some of those stressors, then it makes it like a little bit easier for you to go in, show up, perform, and get those results. Make sure your gym bag is packed the night before, fully socked. And anything you're missing, make sure you add it to a list to replace it so that it does not become an excuse in the future. Next up is gonna be plan your workout. So for me, being a personal trainer, that looks like me going through and writing out what the focus areas for that day are. So maybe it's legs and shoulders, maybe it's a glute focused leg day and shoulders. Um, and then it looks like me planning out my entire workout from my cardio to all of the circuits or supersets I plan on doing, all my reps, how many sets I'm gonna do, um, as well as keeping track of the weight, especially if I'm trying to hit a PR on something, we wanna make sure I'm writing down the weight so I can keep track of my progress. But planning out your workout makes it so much easier for you to be efficient in the gym. So you're not walking in and kind of wandering around and just picking up stuff and putting it down, but you're going in with an intention. And if you are someone who maybe you don't know how to build workouts, maybe you um, have only worked out with maybe boot camp classes or only had a trainer, I have two ebooks that I've written that basically are beginner friendly. One is called The Reboot. The Reboot is perfect for you if you are trying to get back on track or trying to stay consistent. The Reboot gives you workouts fully planned out with video demos so you can go ahead and get back in shape. Other ebook is called Build That Back and that's for people who are focused on getting their backs more toned and more strong. So it is full of back focused workouts. 
It also includes other muscle groups, but it's definitely focused on your back. And in each of my eBooks, I provide nutritional guidance. I provide um, tracker pages, as well as a full detailed write-up on what the benefits of this eBook are, these exercises, what they target, and also how you can just adopt healthier habits. So they are absolutely amazing, and they are 50% off right now in the description. So make sure you check them out below. Last but not least is going to be preparation where it comes to um, feeding your mind and feeding your spirit for your workout. So if you are a music person, make sure you have your playlist queued up. If you are a audiobook person or you like to listen to podcasts, go ahead and queue up a few podcasts so that when you're in the gym, you don't have to spend so much time focused on your phone and all this setting up your workouts and all those types of things, it's already done for you. You also wanna make sure your alarms are set. So if you are planning to get up and go to the gym early and you know you are like me and you like to hit that snooze button, set four or five alarms. Like do what it takes in order to make it easier for you to show up because that is what is gonna build your confidence. The easiest way to build confidence with yourself or with anything is to keep your word to yourself. So when you are looking to build confidence in something, ask yourself, am I keeping my word to myself on pursuing this goal, even with what I feel I don't know or don't have at my disposal? So you definitely want to make sure you're doing things to set yourself up for success the day before, the day, of, the morning of, whatever your schedule looks like. Think and plan ahead so that you are not going to the gym and feeling like you are absolutely a fish out of water because that is typically what makes us feel like we are insecure when we actually just didn't take a few minutes to prepare. So I hope this video helps somebody out there. These are things that I use to help me stay confident in the gym, to help me feel prepared in the gym like I am meant to be there because you are meant to be wherever you are. You can find more information on what I am wearing down in the description below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to y'all soon.